I scooped up this metal filing cabinet from Facebook Marketplace for $25. So to begin my project, I took it out of my van and I put it up on some um, raised ladders just so it's easier to work with. And I removed all the drawers. I can save the drawers for another project or take them to scrap metal. For this project, I do not need them. Then I'm going to come in with this rust paint that is good for bare or rusted metal. This is shade is flat black and I'm going to paint the entire filing cabinet, the sides, the fronts and the backs, making sure as well that I get the top parts of the filing cabinet so the middle pieces where the drawers were. I'm using a foam roller for easy application. I'm going to do two full coats and let it fully dry in between each coat. Then I'm going to use my drill and I'm going to drill in some um, holes in the bottom of my filing cabinet and these are going to be for drainage. So you can see I've set it up here on my porch. To weight it down I'm going to be putting in two bags of pea stone gravel and the neat thing about this since they're just for weight I'm going to leave them in the bags. That's way if I ever need them for a different project or something else they're in the bags and I don't have to scoop them out from the bottom. Then I'm going to go to my yard and I collected all these old leaves. This is great because I'm going to fill up the bulk of the cabinet with the leaves so I don't have to waste a lot of my potting mix. So I fill it up till there's about a quarter left at the top and then I fill that last quarter with my potting mix. I've used potting mix that I bought brand new as well as some old planters that I had laying around. I dumped in some of that potting mix too. Then I'm going to go ahead and plant in my flowers. So this year I've decided to go with some nice little pansies here and I'm just planting them into each square of the filing cabinet giving sufficient space in between. And once those are all planted, this is my finished planter. I am so happy with how this project turned out. Like I said, I scooped this filing cabinet up for $25 and I created something new and trendy with it. These metal large planters, people pay hundreds of dollars in the store or online to have on their porch. And I created mine out of a $25 old rusted cabinet. If you want to recreate this project, I highly suggest checking out places like Facebook Marketplace, thrift stores, or other secondhand places to scoop up a filing cabinet for super cheap. People are constantly getting rid of filing cabinets, so they're not very hard to find. I'm super excited that I was able to share this project with you. I hope that it inspires you to get creative, use old repurposed materials to create something new and fabulous for your front porch without spending a ton of money. The first thing I did was clean off the filing cabinet. I washed it down so to remove all the dirt, oil, debris, and dust. Next, I removed all the hardware. We bought two stair bolsters to support the opposite side of the desk. We started by measuring them against the filing cabinet. After marking them, we cut them with our saw. We decided where we wanted the plywood to go on top of the desk. We measured where the screws needed to go to attach to the stair bolster. Ours were approximately three inches from the corners. My husband pre-drilled the holes in the board and he made an X on the bolsters and then pre-drilled the center hole. He lined up the bolsters under the wood and he used the drill to place the screw through the board and into the bolster to secure the legs into place. We used some putty to cover the screws on the top. We smoothed it out and let it dry overnight. I used my sander to sand down the putty to make it level. And I sanded all the sides and the edges. After the sanding was done, I wiped down the board with a damp cloth to clean it before painting. I painted the filing cabinet with Dixie Bell Slick Stick. This allows the paint to adhere to metal. I painted the board with Dixie Bell Driftwood paint and let everything dry overnight. I wanted more of a driftwood look, so I first put on Dixie Bell Whitewash Glaze and I let it dry and I next added the Dixie Belle Van Dyke Brown Glaze. To achieve this look, you start by dry brushing on the white glaze and then wiping with a paper towel as you go. After that dries, you do the same with the brown glaze. I painted the filing cabinet with Dixie Belle Blue Paint. With the hardware that was removed from the filing cabinet, I painted it with a Dixie Belle Metallic Silver Base and Top Coat. Here is the completed desk. 
The great thing about this desk is that you can make it right-handed or you can make it left-handed. I'm loving my new DIY table and I hope this inspired you to upcycle something you find into something you need. in a can of paint. Thanks for watching Home Talk. See you in our next video.